here are the best graphics settings for performance. Let's open the accessibility settings and then let's open the display configuration tab and let's start from the bottom. So over here we have three settings related to quality, crowd, grass and rendering quality. Depending on your PC, if you have low-end PC then of course you probably want every single one of them set to low. However, I also recommend trying these settings while playing the game. So start the match, go to settings and then uh, mess around with the settings. So set some, do some changes, apply the changes and then go back to the game to see how it plays. Um, however, rendering quality relates to the most of things that are displayed in the game. So this probably has the highest impact on the performance of the game. Decreasing it should potentially have the biggest change on your FPS. So if your PC struggles to handle the game, you probably want to set this to medium or low. And if you don't really care about the quality of the grass and crowd, you can set them to low as well. However, if your PC handles it pretty well on low, you might also try to set this on medium. As for hair, over here we have strand based hair, which is the hair shader. Me personally, I don't care at all about the realistic hairs, so if you want to, you can set it off just like me. Or if you are the opposite and um, you prefer to have still the best quality, uh, then of course you can leave it on. However, we are talking about performance and, well, I don't think hairs will help us play the game better. We also have cutscene quality, this doesn't apply to the real-time matches, so this can be either half or full-time, it doesn't really matter, unless you are also interested in running the cutscenes as best as possible, so I suppose setting it to half frame time should do the work. And over here we have vertical sync and dynamic resolution scale. Now, dynamic resolution scale is probably one of the most impactful options that we can set on. If you really have low NPC, then setting this on should help you a lot. So try it out. However, if you are probably on medium NPC at the very least, I don't think this needs to be enabled. And for vertical sync, if you have frame rate issues, you can also try to disable it as the vertical sync will not wait, will not try to synchronize between the refresh rate and the frame rate. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.